Greetings, this is Jerry Revere from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will detail how to create Communication Manager profiles for selective administrative access. This video will demonstrate how to set up and modify Communication Manager administrative profiles. Telecom departments have dedicated people that perform specific tasks and defining profiles provide specific options for that job function but do not allow global access to all administrative functions. What we will be looking at will be defining a profile for the person that has responsibilities to provision and manage things like ARS, AAR, and trunking within Communication Manager. This entails administering the profile for the needed CM SMI page access and defining the appropriate SAT terminal access to accomplish the provisioning task noted. The work that we have to do is to define a modified web access mask for the SMI pages. We will create a profile 20 known to the system as prof20. A user called cust restrict will be created and assigned that profile. We will log in as that user and verify that the options defined by the new web access mask are in place. Next we will use the customer privileged administrator account to create the Prof20 within Communication Manager translations. Prof20 will be labeled Cust Restrict to align with the SMI and the CM profiles. Profile 20 will then be customized to meet the job function detailed previously. Lastly, we'll log into the user cust restrict and verify that the permissions set match functions desired. We will get started by logging into the CM SMI web pages as a privileged administrator. I have logged into the SMI maintenance page and under security I have selected the web access mask link. This opens a dialog where I can perform several tasks with the profiles. I have selected Add to perform the creation of an access mask for Profile 20. I will be copying the existing customer non-super user profile of 19. I am entering 20 for the new access mask and selecting the first choice where I have entered 19, the mask to be copied, and then have pressed Submit. The system responds with a new section called User Defined Access Masks and Names, with the new access mask of 20 being shown. Selecting the checkbox for Mask 20 and pushing the Change button will allow me to modify the new profile. Depending upon the amount of additions or subtractions that are required, the privileged user profile 18 could have been copied. I am making only a few additions and one subtraction, so that is why I chose to copy mass 19, which will require the least amount of modification. I am adding the commands ping, traceroute, and netstat, as this job function could be adding new IP trunking, so network connectivity commands are required. I have also added the ability to change server date and time to assist making changes for daylight savings time. Lastly, I have removed the ability to start messaging. I then submitted the screen to save the changes. I have now selected the administrator accounts link so I can create the user account cust restrict and assigned it the profile mask of 20. I have selected the radio button associated with the unprivileged administrator and then pressed submit. The next screen allows me to enter the username, select the modified profile prof20 and then enter the password to create the user upon pressing the submit button. The text in green confirms the user creation was successful. Pressing the continue button returns me back to the administrator's account screen. 
Next I will open a second web browser and log in as a user Cust Restrict to verify the work just performed. After logging in successfully, I have gone into the server maintenance page. Note that the four options I added for the customer user Cust Restrict are available, which are ping, traceroute, netstat, and server date and time. Note the start messaging link is not present. The next step is to define the user profile 20 within Communication Manager translations. I'll perform that operation within the SAT. After successfully logging into the SAT as a privileged administrative user, I will first create the profile 20 by the command add user profile 20. We'll name the profile cust restrict to stay in sync with the SMI naming convention. I need to enable this profile for shell access for network connectivity verification. I am also enabling call center category B, maintenance category G, routing and dial plan category J, stations category M, and trunking category P. Moving on to page 2, I am selecting a section entitled Set Permissions for Category. Here I am entering a B for the call center category and setting the permissions to read only with the R minus entry. This person probably could backfill for associates that perform call center support for the user community and would need to be able to see what the user data might be configured with. Note the field agent and agent login ID fields are now read only. Using the back button to go to the higher number of pages, we can now see that the maintenance trace functions have been enabled as shown with the W- command which allows us to perform add and change commands. This also enables the tracing function. I have pushed the F3 key to submit the work. I have started another SSH session to the communication manager so I can test the work performed. I have logged in using the username of cust to restrict and have went into the SAT screen. The first thing I am testing is the restricted read-only access to the call center features. I can successfully display an agent ID. I can perform a listing of the agent IDs. As you can see there are not a lot of IDs programmed in this particular system at this time. Trying to issue the change agent login ID command you can see I am blocked. Pressing the help key, note that the agent login ID command would normally show up after the access endpoint. It does not, so we know that the cust restrict login is blocked as desired. Finishing off the testing, I have entered the command change ARS analysis 303 and the login is allowed to make changes which is the primary function of the profile prof20 that we have created. All the administrator would have to do now is to perform a save translations and then instruct the user what this new login can perform and cannot. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.